I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and welcome back to another Foundation Friday and I'm so excited about today's foundation because I got the Dermacol full coverage foundation that you've probably seen on Instagram. Now just like that Instagram sticky bra, I told myself if I saw this foundation one more time I was gonna buy it. So I did. Now, if you have seen this foundation on Instagram, it's usually seen to cover tattoos. That's how full coverage this stuff is. I don't have any tattoos to show you, but I do have this scar, so we could try with this. Now, before I demonstrate how I put it on my face and how well it covers scars, let me tell you a little bit more about it. It's called the Dermacol Film Studio, uh, what? Brandov Prague. Don't know what all that means, but it says makeup cover. This is straight up for covering everything. Tattoos, scars, blemishes, dark under eye circles, whatever you wanna hide, this is gonna do it. This is also waterproof, so that's gonna be kinda cool to test this summer. You know, they say take her in the pool on the first date. We'll see about that. SPF 30, that's a really high SPF for a foundation. I've always seen like 10, 15, but 30? That's pretty intense. So when you do take it out the box, it comes in this little gold container. It looks like a big thing of super glue. This does have an expiration date on it. It expires in 2020, so I have some time. I am wearing the foundation right now. And as you can see, my face is beat. It is covered all flaws and blemishes with ease. Now before I show you how I cover up my scar, let me show you exactly how I apply this foundation to my entire face. All right, let's do this. My face already has on moisturizer, but now I'm going to get my Veil Mineral Primer by Hourglass. This is my new favorite primer, so this is what I will be using in my foundation Fridays, because I know it works. Now I am primed. Let me go ahead and open this foundation. I'm so excited. Now I actually tried to take a peek at the color, but it is sealed shut, so you have to use your top, and then you're gonna poke it. And there's our color. Woo! Okay, so it's already starting to kind of pop out. Let me just do a little like color test. Woo! <laughs> what blemish? Bishware. Oh wow, this is creamy. This shouldn't even be used on the face. Well, you want coverage. There you go. All right, got a little ahead of myself. Let me actually get my beauty blender and apply a little bit of this on here. I think applying it with my finger, it actually gives me even more full coverage. This is kind of blending it out a little bit thinner. You know what? Let's use this as a concealer. I'm gonna grab my little concealer brush and put a little bit on here. And let's get these dark circles one time. Oh yes. What dark circles? What bags? The only bags I have are designer. Since I wanna keep the full coverage of this foundation, I think I'm just gonna keep applying to the other side with my finger. So I'm gonna grab a good little dollop. And I'm gonna kinda, ooh. It's basically like a concealer for your entire face. That's all we're doing is concealing all flaws. Okay, so first impression, I really like it. I'm someone who loves full coverage because I've always dealt with acne and acne scars. So if I can cover that up, you know, fool the world, I'm down for it. Now that I'm satisfied with my foundation, let me go ahead and put on the rest of my face. And we're back. So now that my face is complete, as you can see, I am extreme full coverage. My face is beat. There is no time for imperfections or flaws at all. Now, since this was a random impulse buy, I did buy it from Instagram from this random website called shopbeautyboutique.com. I'll put that information below in the description box. And I bought it for, looking at my receipt, $15. $15 foundation plus $5 for shipping. So basically this foundation cost me $20. The Dermacol foundation comes in a total of 13 different colors to choose from. And unfortunately, I am their darkest Skin tone. This is number 224. I literally just bought the darkest one that I could and fortunately it did match me really well. But if you are darker than me or if I get a tan, there's nothing else for us to choose from. So I really hope that the Dermacol foundation comes out with more darker skin tones. 
I would not wear this foundation on an everyday basis. This is just like way too much perfection for a normal day like at the grocery store. But if I had a very special occasion or if I was doing like a photo shoot or even filming on camera, this would be a great foundation to just make you look flawless. But before I do my full day foundation test, let's go ahead and cover up the scar. So here's my burn scar. I burned it on the oven when I attempted, you know, be a good wife one day and like cook and stuff. <laughs> that was dumb. All right, so I got my foundation. Just gonna dab. Ooh, look at that. So the first problem is my arm is darker than my face thanks to the summer and tanning, but we could try to blend this out a little bit. I mean, it definitely covered everything. But now let me just try to blend. So now I'm just gonna grab a little bit of my powder and kind of set it. So there you go. I mean, it's not my best work. I do have a bunch of bright lights on it, but it's like a natural, normal, casual day. You might not notice it when I'm talking because it's covered. But hey, this looks a lot better than that big old scar. So this foundation went on at 11.30 a.m. I am going to wear it for the rest of the day. So I'll be back in a couple hours and we'll see how well this foundation actually holds up on my oily skin. And I'm back. It has now been eight hours of me wearing this foundation and this is how shiny I am. So it's not too different from a regular drugstore foundation in my opinion. I'm always getting shiny right here by my nose, a little bit on my forehead. I always think it looks better until I come in front of all these lights and film and I'm like, hmm, I'm a little shiny. It is starting to kind of rise a little bit, but let's blot. So like always in my Foundation Friday videos, I always grab some oil absorbing sheets and we see how much oil comes off. So I'm just gonna press on the oil areas. Da, 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 da. <laughs> There's my oil. So a lot of oil came off on this oil absorbing sheet and so did a little bit of the foundation. But I still do have a pretty good amount of coverage. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this Dermacol foundation. I was expecting it to be horrible after eight hours, but for being so full coverage on my very oily skin, it did a pretty average job of keeping me matte. So that is everything I have to say about the Dermacol Full Coverage Foundation. If you've tried this yourself, please leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts and if you have normal, dry, or oily skin. And make sure you come back next week for more videos. I post foundation reviews every Friday and curly hair videos every Sunday. So I will see you all next week right here on Bianca Renee Today.